Hey everybody, it's Tom, WA2IVD. All of the new modern ICOM rigs that are touchscreen controlled are pretty intuitive for the most part, but have you ever tried to get on the air and you were expecting this? Hello CQ, 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 calling CQ from Whiskey Alpha 2, India Victor Delta. But instead, this happened. Hello, CQ. Hello? Hello? Test, 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 test. What? What the heck? What's going on? This is a question that I have received a number of times over the years in comments or emails from people when they can't seem to get transmit audio and they don't understand why. We're going to take a look at a couple of common settings that can cause this problem. It's pretty simple to get the settings right, but it's also pretty simple to get them wrong. I'm going to be showing you this today on an IC7300, however these pointers apply equally to the IC7610, the 7300, the 705, the 9700, and the IC7100. All the radios are a little bit different, but these particular menu options are nearly identical on all of those radios. So if you've got any of those models and you've ever had trouble getting transmit audio, take a look. So once again, I'm showing you this on an IC7300 today, but as I said in the introduction, this is going to apply to all of those radios that I mentioned because the transmit audio inputs and input options are very similar between all of these radios. The only thing that's different is the number of places that they can get audio from all of the radios in the list can get audio from the microphone jack, of course, and they can all get it from a USB port on the back of the radio connected to your computer. Some of the radios have an accessory jack. Some of the radios have Wi-Fi or LAN inputs that they can get audio from, and then you can select between those in the settings menus, and we're going to go through that here in a minute. The first thing to check in your settings is what mode the radio is in. Now, I'm on upper sideband here because I'm on 20 meters in this example, but when you touch the mode on the screen, regardless of whether you're in sideband, AM, or FM, any one of the voice modes, there is also the data option. And if you touch data, you'll see USB-D shows up in the display, and that's a toggle, so if I touch data again, the dash D goes away. That is data mode and data off mode. So we are in data off mode right now, which is voice. And then if the dash D is in the display, the radio is in data mode. Now where it gets audio from differs depending on which mode you're in. So if you are wanting to use the microphone, and you want to talk to people, you probably do not want to be in dash D or data mode. Uh, and again, just to show you quickly here, that works the same in FM, AM, and sideband. So you'll see now I'm in FM dash D, so it's in FM data mode. Let's get it back to sideband here. So if I want to use the microphone, I want to have data turned off. Where you set all these is in the settings menu. So let's take a look at that. How you get to the set function is a little bit different on each of the radios, but for the most part, there's a menu button or there is a set button that gets you to settings. So I'm going to go to menu, and then on the 7300, we're going to hit set. And then the particular setting menu that we want is the connectors menu. So when we go to connectors, now I'm on page 2 of 4 on the 7300, and again, where this shows up in the menu will vary a little bit from radio to radio, but the two key things that you want to look for is data off mod, which is data off modulation, and then there is data mod, which is data modulation. So let's go back up. First we'll look at data off modulation and you can see mine is currently set to accessory jack. So we're going to look at the options here. We have microphone, 
whoops, where it'll get the audio from the mic, accessory jack, which is what I was set to, mic comma accessory, so this means that it's going to get it from the microphone jack and the accessory jack that's on the back of the radio. USB, which is universal serial bus, or the, the USB connection, not to be confused with upper sideband, and then mic comma USB, so this will get audio from the microphone and the USB jack. It'll take either one. Now, I've set mine back to microphone here, which is where I normally keep mine when I'm doing microphone audio or, you know, voice audio. I just use the microphone jack that's right here on the front of the rig. Um, the accessory jack on the back, if you have a mixer and maybe a studio mic or a professional mic, you might have your mixer wired into the accessory jack on the back. That might be one use case for that. Mic and accessory, I don't really like this option and I don't like the mic comma USB option because what this means is it's getting it from both places. So for example, let's say you had a mixer hooked up to the back and you were using a microphone on that and maybe you also had recordings where you were recording somebody's audio that you were talking to and you could play it back to them through the mixer. If you have both of these, if there's any room noise at all and you're playing stuff back through the mixer while you're transmitting, it's going to pick up the room noise and people are going to hear that while you're transmitting and then that's the same thing with the mic and USB, if you were using some audio out of your computer using this option, they're going to hear both. Now, again, maybe you might want that if you were using the microphone and you wanted to be able to play stuff out of your computer at the same time. So there's, there's use cases for it, but I, I tend to stay away from those two. But those are all the choices. So for data off, mine's going to be getting audio from the microphone. Now, Data mod, which is when you are in data, data mode, the dash D, the modulation for data mode is going to come from, in this case, the USB connector on the back, which is the built-in sound card built into the 7300 or whatever model we're talking about. All of the ICOM radios that have a USB port have a sound card built into the radio. So that'll take audio from your computer or it will send audio to your computer. And then we've got all the same options that we had um, for the data off mod. And then again, if you're using a 9700, the 7610, the 705, they have some other options for wireless LAN or LAN, depending on which model you have and, and what options it has. The 7100 has the accessory jack and the USB. It, its options actually look very similar to the 7100 because it doesn't have an uh, Ethernet port. On the radios that have an Ethernet port or wireless LAN, you can get audio through those devices as well. So that's about it. You just need to make sure that you have the audio set for data off and data on to where you think the audio should be coming from and you need to make sure that you have the data mode either selected or unselected depending on what you're doing. That's the key thing and I've, I've had a number of people that have asked and the reason they weren't getting audio, you know, they, I've gotten emails and hey I'm not getting any transmit audio. Well it turned out they were in data mode when they didn't mean to be in data mode or whatever mode they were in, they didn't have those settings in the set menu set up the way they thought, so it wasn't taking audio from the microphone or maybe from their computer if they were trying to do digital modes. Hope this helps. Well, that's all I've got for this time. Hopefully some of you will find that useful. Full disclosure, I've had this problem myself. I've used the microphone and get no audio or maybe tried to send something with the computer on a digital mode and get no audio. And I double check and I've got the radio in the right mode and then still no audio. And usually it's because I was experimenting with something or changed the settings playing around with something and I completely forgot about it. So. I had an audio input for one of the two set to something, some different jack that I wasn't expecting. 
It can happen to anybody, and hopefully this will help you sort it out on one of the newer ICOM rigs if you're not getting any transmit audio. As always, thanks for watching. I'm Tom, WA2IVD, and this is Ham Radio A to Z.